Hi guys, in today's video I'm going to expand on my previous videos where we were merging by a code and a custom button and I'm going to show you how you can now pass through related list and subform data. Now this has come from a request on the Zoho forums. If you guys have your own requests for some videos, feel free to log a request on our website and we'll do our best to make one for you. I'll link the previous videos down below if you haven't checked them out already, but otherwise I'll show you how it's all done now. In our template here, what we can do is you've got subforms and you can add in a related list or a subform that would appear on that record. Inside the jobs one here, what we can do is select the fields that we want to pass through. So say I want the, the job number, I want the date of the job, the status of the job, and you know maybe the job owner. And I can insert that you know as table rows. You can see we've created it here. We can save that now. That's all we need to do from this one. Next thing we need to do is we need to go into our functions and you know, we've got that get merge fields function that we used before. I'm going to edit that. And I'm just going to run this again because it's all set up the same way. I'll copy through the response, open up my JSON formatter, click process. You'll notice that some of them have jobs.name, jobs.date. Now, these are the field names that we want to use, but what we need to do is pass them in as a list. And I'll show you how to do that. Back in our functions, I can close this one off and I'm going to edit our original merge proposal document function that's still set up. And inside here, I'm just going to copy in a little bit of code. I'm going to declare a jobs list, and this one will be the one that we pass through to the merge document to use. We're going to get related jobs to the deal, and that comes here with this integration task. So for each one of these jobs that's found inside the related jobs, list that we return, we're going to create our own object and add it to the jobs list that we declared here. So we here are going to add these as collection as a collection and create our own object. So what we do is we go jobs.name and then we go from this job that we're in now, we want to get the name and then we do the same. We get the owner. The owner is already an object, so we need to get the name of the, of the one in there as well. And then we do the same with the status, the job date here as well. Next thing we need to do is we need to add it into the actual merge data down here. And to do that, it's as simple as merge data dot put jobs being the parent here of the jobs. And then we're going to pass through the job list and that's going to have all of that data in there. And that's it guys. That's all you have to add. If I save this now, what we can do is go back to our deal record. We can now prepare the proposal document. And once it's completed, proposal created, you can see here already I've got two jobs. And if I go to the attachments now and click proposal document, you can see here it passes through the jobs themselves here as that table. Hope that helped guys. Have a great day and feel free to put some requests in on our website if you want some other videos.